Hey everyone, it's Blover King here, and this is a little update of a lot of upcoming videos I'm going to be posting, and the special occasion is I will be at MIS tomorrow for the, alright, don't invite me to a race, for the truck series race, and possibly the cup race, it depends on if we can find a good deal on some tickets because we don't need to be spending a lot of money. But the truck race I'm going to is actually going to be completely free for me, my dad, and my mom because my dad works at an RV dealership and, oh crap, and as some of you may know, Todd Bodine's main sponsorship is it's international something, but it's like Monaco RV, which at the place my dad sells, and since we live in Michigan, they were giving out free hop hot passes to whoever sold the most Monaco RVs. But nobody at my dad's work cares about NASCAR. So and he was the only one, so they just gave it to him, even though he doesn't really sell Monaco's. So I what's included with the hot pass is I get to go to the track early. Because normally the gates would open for everyone else at 9 a.m. But for me, I could get there as early as 6. Even though my dad told me it would be more like 7.30, 8 o'clock when we get there. But what what also is going to happen is I will be able to go throughout all the garage areas and be able to go like right into the driver's garage stalls. I don't know if it's going to be for the Cup Series garage. I definitely know it's going to be for truck. I hope it's for a Cup. I mean, me and my dad are going to try to get in there anyways. We already like planned out what we're going to do. And... Because this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, it probably costs a lot of money for hot passes. You can only get them if like a driver or a sponsor invites you. Or you have a ton of money. So, not only that, but I will be able to hang out at, what time is it? 10.45 to, to hang out with Todd Bodine and, and like his crew and maybe a couple other drivers in the driver's lot where all the driver's motorhomes are parked. So I will definitely be walking around the driver's lot trying to see if I can find any drivers, get their autographs and talk to them, videotape them, you know. And that'll be awesome. I mean, being in the driver's lot, that's awesome. And being able to really, no matter what, can be able to talk to Todd Bodine. And after that, of course, pre-race ceremonies, I'll be able to look at all like the driver intros from like the infield grass and be on pit road for the national anthem and driver start your engines. Maybe not driver start your engines, but I know the national anthem. And a possibility, it's a slim chance, but there's still a chance I might be able to go into the the second pace car for the start of the race. You know how they split they split up the fields for um to get the pit road speed, well I might be able to go in the second pace car and do some pace laps for the beginning of the race and that would be awesome. But it all comes down to if they have enough room, since I'm not really supposed to, but a woman my dad talked to said that she might be able to do it because her husband does all that. Yeah, there. look at that first try, there's a nice blow over it. So yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. It's not a for sure thing, but I'll definitely try to record myself being in that in the pace truck, I guess it's gonna be. And yeah, that brings up another thing. I went out to Best Buy and bought three extra DVDs to record stuff with. So that means I'll be able to get up to a hundred minutes of HD video. And that's gonna be really cool. And then of course once the truck series starts I'll be able to be in Todd Bodine's pit stall. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sit on his pit box even though I'm gonna ask anyways. And but I will be able to be able to be in his pit stall and I am going to record a pit stop since I could they said I get to go right up to the wall when you're doing a pit stop as long as I don't get in the way of a crew member. So that's gonna be awesome. Really awesome. And then of course I get to watch the truck series race and cup practice and all that stuff. So that would be really cool. And then of course I go home, hopefully find tickets to the cup race and upload all this video that I'm going to be getting. So yeah. 
hopefully everything I said will come to fruition. If you guys know what that word means, I really don't, but I heard my mom say it. Screwed up that corner. I might be able to still win the race. So yeah, I'm driving Casey Kane's car. Hopefully he wins the race on Sunday. And that was just an update of telling you what's going to be going on for me this weekend. I screwed up that corner. I want to win the race, darn it. So yeah, I have a whole thing, like a whole schedule that they gave to me. Like Randy Moss sent me an email about what I'm going to be doing. So that's going to be so awesome. I can, like, I can hardly wait. Even though it's tomorrow. Oh, I got a good run. Screw you, Tony. Oh, man. I don't know why I keep rewinding this. It's just making this video longer. So, that's my plans. Hopefully, you will get to see a lot of what I'm going to be doing at the racetrack. And hopefully, it's going to be awesome. Ooh. So, I will be back for maybe Sunday, probably Monday, to upload all the new video and whatnot, and yeah.